Hi everyone, Lauren here with Enlightened Together. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm doing a follow-up video about a garden I started in my backyard. About a month ago I loaded my or uploaded my first video about it. So it's really interesting now to do a compare and contrast of how it's changed over just a month period of time. But I'm a total noob to gardening. This has really been my first true experience with it. I put everything in the ground, I replanted plants back at the end of April, so it's been about a month and a half now that I've been working on this. And it's been an interesting experience, I definitely want to progress and learn more about how to handle a garden with best intentions. And I wanted to actually show you it now before it's ransacked further by gophers. So this has definitely been a learning experience, and I'll show you it now. So here it is, it's really small, it's just uh, some plants again that I replanted and for the, at the beginning we used these sawhorses with cloth and had it over the plants on the left side over there, the zucchini squash because they weren't doing very well when this all first started, but there was a tomato plant right here where this hole was and I had planted everything directly in the ground, didn't put any protection around them or anything, and so now I've had to pay the consequences. A gopher, I don't know how many gophers came in, but they took out the plant that was right here. It was really big. It was like bigger than this plant. So that was unfortunate. And now they're working on this one right here. I don't know why we put that pipe there. I need to take that out. but. Anyway, yeah, this, this tomato plant was doing really well, but there has been a gopher that's been non munching on it, and I don't know how well you can see it here, but he has gradually been taking out the branches connected at the base here, and there's just a couple left, so uh, I'm not going to fret about it. I know I could probably do something about it, but we've been putting traps in the ground, gopher traps, and things like that. I'm not really into putting poison in the ground. I just say this is a learning experience and so I'll have to be smarter about it next time. We did put rabbit shavings down at the base though. I don't know how well you can see. We put rabbit shavings because I heard from someone that apparently rabbit urine uh, will keep gophers away because gophers do not like rabbits but I didn't have any rabbit urine on hand. I do have a rabbit though, so I had rabbit shapings and I put them down there, but it doesn't seem to be as effective as what I want it to be. So other than that, we do have these bell pepper plants here that are doing relatively well now. And you can see there, there's like white blooms on it, which is pretty cool. And the only problems that these plants have been having are that bugs started eating their leaves. And I haven't done anything about it, to be honest. Uh, I know I've looked into alternatives or options to deal with it, but so far they've been doing well and I don't know what to do. I guess I would be concerned because I watched a video recently that said, you know, if you don't deal with pests now, their population can grow and you don't want that for your future garden. So that's something I would take into concern, but these have been doing well. Now the other plants we have, these suckers, are zucchini squash. They've been doing really well. You can see there are four of them here. They started to blend in once they got bigger. This is the biggest one right here. That is one zucchini squash. And this one was doing really well from the get-go. I don't know why. None, no bugs have eaten its leaves or anything like that and it's really cool on the inside you can see there's flowers and things like that and the, the flowers will open up during the day so that's nice and I've actually taken about four zucchini squash off of this particular plant so pretty cool then these other ones here like I said before they were doing poorly and then I put this cloth over them because they were they were so young, the sun was getting to them, and too much sun, so put it over them and they're doing really well now. So they'll be producing eventually. But there is a bug that's been eating this leaf here. I'm not sure why, because like I said, 
Uh, I haven't seen any of the, the leaves on this one get eaten. But the leaves here, everything is kind of prickly. It has this prickly material on it. So I think maybe that would keep bugs away. But this one's doing not doing as well as the other one. But they are growing. And the end of this leaf is kind of breaking away. I'm not really sure why that is. Do any of you know why this is? I water them, but I did hear in one of the videos that we went over that there are insects that are called sucking insects, and they will suck on the plant until it starts to wither, so I don't know, maybe, maybe is that it? But that's what I have going on right now. I'll also give some spotlight to my cat. This is Kaisa. She's lazy. She likes it here, though. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I have going on here. And I definitely would like to progress. I would like to start again and, again, put the put maybe some metal baskets in the ground or something like that so that, um, so that I'm not having to deal with gophers again. And I would also really like to investigate permaculture or mulching options as well because it's just so dry here where I'm at. I mean, everyone knows California is hotter than hell, usually. So I would really like to investigate moisture retention options for the soil so that moisture is retained and, you know, to put something else on the surface for nutrients and things like that. So please, if you have any recommendations, if you have any options or outlooks or whatever you have to say, then please share. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to learn more about Enlightened Together, go to enlightentogether.com. Thank you so much.